Hey guys, so we took this amazing collaboration with Savari and we called it Chasing Rural Summer. Why chasing? क्योंकि कभी शहरों की भागदौड़ में ना we tend to stop appreciating the real small things of countryside. It can be stopping for a bhutta in the rain or then dancing in the rain with kids, making mud utensils from wet earth. We did all of that and maybe more. We took this unique trip to Koraput, a beautiful tribal belt in the state of Odisha, India. Savari handled this so seamlessly. We were literally picked from the comfort of our home by making this booking online and we set off in the ancient temple town of Bhuvneshwar. We had kept our day one short and we crossed the famous Chilika Lake and we reached the Gopalpur beach town. Now Gopalpur is so underrated. It has such rich maritime history that we spent the entire evening by the beach eating all the street food and understanding the ruins and the structures and early morning took some amazing beach strolls before we set off to a real, real long day of driving in Korapur. The way, I guess, that makes up for the journey. And the journey to Korapur changes from plains to happen bends, lakes, dams, forests, you have it all. We reach Korapur real late at night. The next day woke up to some amazing local breakfast and headed to Kotpad, a town of weaving and dyeing, and chose to visit the weekly hut. And oh my god, what sights and smell. In fact, we have dedicated a whole lot of content just on the hearts. We were blown over. My chef friend literally went crazy tasting everything from local lemonades to bhajis to ant chutneys and whatnot. So Koraput also sits on the border of Andhra and Chhattisgarh. So the next day we decided to hop the border and visit the Araku Valley. A bit touristy but nonetheless beautiful. We picked up some tribal coffee for friends and family, visited the coffee museum, the state tribal museum, spent some time taking detours with our Savari to take pictures and on return discovered a beautiful cave literally straight out of Avengers movie of sorts. By this time, Lucky, our Savari car driver, was totally emotional in the trip himself and this entire journey had become a group of three friends traveling and exploring together. The next day we decided to take our explorations a little further. We explored a family-led tribal coffee plantation and we even then moved to the Malkangiri belt to interact with some Bonda tribes while we visited another hut. By this time we were so consumed and full of gratitude like a perfect summer packing experiences, souvenirs, food, people. On the way back we took a day to the lesser known and the only Buddhist settlement of Odisha which is Chandragiri. While we lived literally stayed inside the monastery for the night and took long walks in the town. We traced our way back with Savari and carried so many memories. You know, Koraput is like this Pandora box. It literally keeps surprising you and the best when it's taken with Savari. Savari